Okay, so I'm going to show how to disassemble a uh, Dell Inspiron 15 uh, 3000 series. So first what you want to do is actually remove the keyboard. So as you can see, there's some little tabs here. So what I like to do is use a thin pry tool like this. Um, just get it in the between the two pieces. Usually tilt it forward so it can go in front of the tab and then pull it back. Once you do that, you can get under and then lift it slightly. So just do that with all the tabs, just like this. Like that. Okay. It helps to be also pulling this up with your fingernails while you go along or another pry tool to keep it from going back in. But as long as you don't let it drop, then it's okay. Oh, there's one other thing. So before you detach that, <coughs> Um, you can remove the battery here, so you slide this one over to the left, it'll pop up, and you just lift it out and like that. To put it back, of course, you put the back first, just like that, and drop it in. But, yeah, so that's how you remove it. Okay. Usually, to be safe, after removing the battery, you can hold the power button for a few seconds just to drain any excess power on the board. Okay. And since I already removed the clips, um, you can lift this up. Usually you want to like flex it a bit, so lift this up and then while pushing this down to get these um, side pieces out because these also have some clips that you don't use the pry tool to get them out. So same with the other side, lift it and then push on the this to get it out. So the cables connect under here, so just be careful. And then hold it up like this sideways. And while you're doing that, you can pull this little um, latch, lift it up just like that. And then you can remove this. Okay. Then you want to remove this this one as well. So this is for the optical drive, the CD drive. So remove that cable. This cable is attached to the, the bottom piece under here. So <clears throat> make sure you have this disconnected because to remove that you're going to have to have that disconnected. Um, this is also the touchpad which is also connected to the this piece so you want to remove that if you're gonna take that out and then this is the power button so if you're not going to remove the the main board you can actually leave that in but just to be safe you can um, remove it from the connector they actually uh, use a double stick adhesive to hold this onto the metal piece so don't pull it pull on it too hard or you might damage the cable okay so once you do that you have to remove the screws um, there are five screws. There's one here, one here, two, three here, four, and five. So once you got those five screws out, um, you can close this, the screen and then go to the back. And then you want to remove all the screws from the back as well. So first what you want to do um, is remove the CD drive um, screw. Uh, and then you'll want to remove the CD drive. So usually what I'll do uh, for the CD drive, I'll take like a needle or a small paper clip and there's a little hole here for this. So you actually put the needle there and then just move it around and the CD drive will come out. Okay. This will allow you to grab it so that if you grab and pull here, there's a good chance you might accidentally um, pull this bezel off the plastic piece. So usually what I like to do is kind of grab more on the, the outer part of, of this and then kind of wiggle and pull it. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Let me see. There you go. So you just pull on it like that. After that you can actually close this so you can just grab the sides. Okay. So now you got the CD drive, so remove that first because there's actually three screws under here. So you just remove all the screws. There's one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So fourteen screws. There's nothing under this little plastic cover, so don't worry about that. Um, make sure to keep the screws in order because if you mix them up, <coughs> uh, they're different sizes and you can it can cause some problems if you put them in the wrong place. Okay, so once you get that, there's a little gap or a little seam here. So what you want to do, uh, what I found is easiest, is I put my fingers under here and then 
use my nail to get under the between the seam or you can use a pry tool so after you get that started you can actually go all the way around just go around like this okay just pull up all the plastic frame or the, release the clips okay just like that all the way around Once you get to the back, this side might be a little tough to get out, but once you get that, you can actually wiggle it and lift up and the thing will come out. So there's a cable connected underneath for the optical drive, so just be careful pulling on it, don't pull too hard. Okay, so then you can see it's attached like that, so you can set this aside. Um, for this, I'm actually replacing the hard drive, so um, I don't need to take the whole board out. But I'll show you, there's the two USB ports and the audio jack here. If you need to replace this board, it's it's replaceable. Um, it's just connected with the cable here. It looks like you'd have to actually take the this board out with the cable after you take the hard drive out. And then um, the latches are underneath the board on both sides. So, yeah. The hard drive is secured in place by two more screws on the corners here. So if you need to replace that, make sure to unlatch this so you don't break the cable. So unlatch that, disconnect the cable. Okay, looks like there's another slot for RAM here. So you can have two sticks of RAM. There's the BIOS or CMOS battery here. And you got a speaker connection for the left speaker here. And the right speaker is actually connected to that one with the cable. So you actually only, this is for both speakers. Um, the processor soldered in just like most of the new um, new processors and new motherboards these days for computers. Um, everything else seems to be permanently attached. That's a HDMI port, another USB port. Um, it looks like the charge charging jack is connected here. You'd have to um, undo the screws for the hinge. There's one more screw here and then a screw holding the DC jack in place, you would lift this up afterwards. And then it looks like you'd actually have to remove the motherboard because it's going to be tough to unplug that. So if you do need to change the charge port, you do have to take the screws out to, to remove the motherboard. Then you got the wireless card, same as all the rest. The antennas, you just pull up on the back and it will pop out and then just push back down to pop back in. Um, yeah, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, you can check my other videos. I did that several times. Okay, then you can see the power buttons right here. So if that has issues, you can replace the power button. And that's pretty much it. Other than that, um, if you need to change the trackpad, it's underneath here. There's a metal plate, actually. So you'd have to take the motherboard and everything out first. But yeah. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to write a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, these are all like customer computers, so if you have specific questions for me to show how to do something else on them, if I've already returned the computer, I wouldn't be able to do that, but I might be able to give you tips on how to do whatever you're asking. So, yeah. And then it looks like this fan is actually attached to attached to the heat sink. So if you wanted to change the fan out, you'd actually have to remove these tiny screws, remove the heat sink, and then you can take the fan out of this, um, um, separate it from the metal assembly. Um, and if you do that, make sure to redo the thermal paste, clean off the old thermal paste, and then apply new thermal paste. Uh, there's lots of videos on that, but if you guys want to see a video of that, feel free to write a comment below. Um, I'll probably eventually do one if somebody asks me to, and the process is pretty much the same on all of them. So, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. All right. Bye.